Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the differences between BHDL and Verilog codes. So we have discussed the BHDL coding and what are the various syntaxes. In the next part we are going to start the Verilog codes. So before going into that, what is the basic difference between VHDL code and Verilog code? So VHDL stands for very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language and Verilog is simply Verilog hardware description language. So first VHDL, VHDL on the left hand side and Verilog HDL, Verilog HDL. <coughs> So the first point, VHDL is hardware description language employed to model digital system at various levels. It is a hardware description language, hardware description language employed to model employed used to model digital system model a digital system at various levels at various levels that means ranging from algorithm level to gate level that is ranging from algorithm level to gate level <coughs> algorithm level to gate level and coming to this Verilog HDL Verilog HDL is also a hardware description language used to define hardware at various levels it is also a hardware description language a hardware description language used to define hardware at various levels at various levels so the levels here are gate level gate level rtl and algorithm level rtl and algorithm level and coming to the second difference the ability to model the hardware assembled in a package the ability to model a hardware assembled in a assembled in a package assembled in a package so there are several packages available in the hardware description language like Verilog or VHDL such such packages are used to uh, take some libraries and define some arithmetical or logical operations and here in the case of Verilog functional and pack procedures here in Verilog functional and functions and procedures we can say functions and procedures are assembled in a separate system files are assembled in a separate system files and coming to third one it is difficult to compile because it has two parts it is difficult to compile because here we are having entity as a part and there are several architectures for a single entity but whereas in this 
Verilog, we have only one particular module. It doesn't have any entity architecture like that. Only single module is there. So that's why it is easy to compile. Easy to compile. Coming to the fourth point here. In VHDL, user defined data types are used. In VHDL, user defined data types are used. In VHDL, user defined data types are used. Here, all data types used in Verilog model all data types used in Verilog model are defined are defined coming to next one it is not case sensitive in VHDL there is no case sensitive case sensitive that means in VHDL programming you can use capital letters or small letters that does not change the operation of your VHDL code that means suppose if you are writing AND gate AND for AND operation AND gate AND you are writing AND capital or AND small both will perform the same task okay otherwise you can also write capital A small AND capital A, capital N, small d, okay, all these are same, okay, it is completely case insensitive, but whereas in Verilog, it is completely case sensitive, it is case sensitive, okay, so you have to be very cautious when you are writing small letters and capital letters, and coming to the next one, functions, procedures are assembled in a package functions procedures <coughs> here functions and procedures are assembled in a single package but here functions and procedures are assembled as I said earlier are assembled in a separate system files separate system files and coming to this seventh one a library is a store for a library is a store for compile entities packages and configure to and configurations configurations see a library is a store here libraries are there library i to plea i to plead is a library which consists of all the different packages <coughs> okay so it is used to store all the compile entities packages configurations all such things will be there in a one place that is library here also in verilog so concept of library packages are not there in the verilog concepts of library and package not there in Verilog ok such packages are not there in the Verilog and generate statement replicate a number of instances of the same design unit generate statement replicate a number of instances 
number of instances of the same design unit of the same design unit of the same design unit so there is no equivalent to generate statement in verilab there is no there is no equivalent to generate statement generate statement in verilog okay so these are the major differences between vhdl and verilog so with this knowledge whatever we have learned in the vhdl so later we will move on to the verilog coding okay thank you